okay welcome back in today's video we're going to look at how to back up your website so you might want to ask what's the essence of backing up your website as the name denotes backing up that is storing the details on your website so that you do not lose them in future in case your website crashes or some other reasons the best plugin for the assignment is updraft so head over to plugin and click on add new plugin click on the search icon and type updraft so i have updraft installed on my website already that's why you can see that it's active this has over 3 million active installations to tell you that it's one of the best for the job and once you have that installed you want to head over to your settings and go to updraft backups that's where it will be hidden it will be hidden in your settings it won't be among this list so when you get here the first thing you want to do is click on backup so that your current website status can be saved up when you're done head over to settings ignore what is on migrate or clone you do not need that just head over to settings and fixing how frequent you want your backups to be done so for me and the generally accepted setting is weekly weekly for both file but for both file and database backup and at five five per week so for files you want them weekly five times a week and the same thing for database backup when you're done select what account you want to attach to your backup so it states below here that you can send the backup to more than one destination with premium but with this plan you can just link it up to your google drive account which you know you would always frequently visit or use then when you're ready to link up just click on google drive and you can see that the interface dropped this when you get here this is just telling you that for every of your backup they will be saved in updraft so this states that you'll be able to set a custom folder name when you use updraft premium but for right now this is what you will get this was a message i received from updraft yesterday telling me that my website has been backed up when you come here you're gonna see let's go back to back up and restore when you get here you're gonna see that actually there was indeed a backup yesterday 25th of february So let's proceed when you get here sign in with google so i'm just going to click on sign in with google to show you the process just make sure you link your gmail account with updraft and continue click on allow and at this point you can just take your time to read what is here but this is basically telling us that this um complete setup will take you back to where you came from so let's click on complete setup and we are back to where we left which is our updraft dashboard on our website so when you are done you can add what to select these options here you want your plugins your teams your uploads most used plugins any other directory found inside wp content to be packed up and you can just read through and note the exclusion. So you're going to exclude some things you do not want in your backups. And these are those things. When you're done, where you have email, click on it. It will be automatically selected for you. But if it's not, click on it and save changes. you don't have any business with these advanced tools or premium extensions unless you're very good but for now you're good to go with 
this setup and that is just the basic way of backing up your website so in case your website crashes for one reason or the other and you have to open another website but you still need the content from your previous website what you have to do is go through the same process so you go to your plugins and upload object and when you are done you go to your settings and link your google drive with updraft and automatically when you get your backups you will see all your backups in place and you can restore you can see restore here the leads and the previous backups that have been done in the past so this is the same interface this is the same result you would get when you want to reuse your backup in the future.